the prophecies in the Bible's book of Revelation, about the American Revolution versus the French Revolution. Revelation Fulfilled, Unveiling the 2000-Year Mystery of the Book of Revelation In the past 2000 years, the Book of Revelation remained the most mysterious book in the Bible. Most people thought these visions in the Book of Revelation, prophesied the disasters at the end of the world or end time. But, actually, they are not about the disasters at the end of the world, or end time, as most people believed. To fully understand the prophecies in the Book of Revelation, people need to see how the prophecies in the book of Daniel were fulfilled. The Dream and Visions in the Book of Daniel The Dream of a Giant Statue, Daniel 2, 31-45 The Visions of Four Beasts, Daniel 7 The Visions of a Ram and a Goat, Daniel 8 All these dream and visions in the book of Daniel, prophesied the same major historical events from 600s BC to 300s AD, the rising of four kingdoms, Babylon, Media Persia, Greece Macedon, and the Roman Empire. In the same way, the letters and visions in the book of Revelation, should also prophesy the major historical events just as the visions in the book of Daniel did. The major historical events prophesied in the book of Revelation. In fact, God did give a hint at the beginning of chapter 4 of the book of Revelation. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Revelation 4, 1 This indicated that God was about to show John the major events in the future, which must take place after this. And since the book of Revelation contains many more visions than the book of Daniel did, it should cover a much longer history than what the book of Daniel prophesied. Actually, these visions and letters in the book of Revelation prophesied the major historical events in the Christian history in the past 2000 years, from the first century all the way to the new millennium, not just some disasters at the end of world. The major historical events prophesied in the book of Revelation. This video presentation will reveal the prophecies in the book of Revelation, about the two major historical events in the 18th century, the American Revolution and the French Revolution. 1. The Prophecies of the United States of America in the Book of Revelation 1. The Prophecy About the American Revolution The birth of the United States was prophesied in the letter to the church in Philadelphia, in chapter 3 of the Book of Revelation. Although the Philadelphia in the Book of Revelation was a small city in the Asia Minor in the first century, it did have the prophetic meaning related to the United States as Philadelphia in the 18th century was the birthplace of the United States, where the Declaration of Independence was signed. The signing of the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. In this letter to the church in Philadelphia, Christ used the title as the one who holds the key of David. What he opens no one can shut, and what he shuts no one can open. Revelation 3, 7 this prophesied that this new nation of God would have a faithful leader, like King David for the kingdom of Israel. This faithful leader like King David was the founding father of this new nation of God, George Washington. He opened the door of the presidency with term limit through democratic election, which now became the standard for all democratic countries in the world. George Washington also shut the door on religious persecution so that American people could enjoy their religious freedom, without fearing of religious persecution from the government. 2. The Prophecy of the Growth of the United States of America In this letter to the church in Philadelphia, Christ gave his blessing to this newborn nation of God, I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial, that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. Revelation 3, 8-10 After the American Revolution France also had the French Revolution, which led to the Napoleonic Wars that ravaged Europe. Due to this blessing of Christ, the United States was spared from this hour of trial upon the world, and gained a large tract of land from France through the Louisiana Purchase. One hundred years later, when the world fell into World War I and World War II, the United States was again spared from the ravages of wars on its homeland, and became the leader of the Western world after World War II. In this letter to the church in Philadelphia, Christ also promised that, 
I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews though they are not, but are liars. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Revelation 3, 9 This promise of Christ blessed the United States of America to the final victory against its powerful enemies, like Hitler's Third Reich in World War II, and the Communist Soviet Union in the Cold War. Both Hitler and Lenin, the founder of the Soviet Union, as well as Karl Marx, the mastermind of communism, had Jewish bloodline. However, they were not the people of God but the liars of the synagogue of Satan. Eventually, this promise of Christ blessed the United States to defeat both these powerful enemies, and become the sole superpower in the world. That's the divine blessing behind the success of the American Revolution. 2. The Prophecies of the French Revolution in the Book of Revelation The Vision of the Fallen Star The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. Revelation 9, 1-2 In the Bible, the fallen star was referred to Lucifer in the book of Isaiah. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations! Isaiah 14, 12, NKJV the historical fulfillment of this prophecy. This vision indicated that Lucifer had fallen down from heaven to open the abyss, and all hell broke loose. The smoke rose from the abyss would darken the sun and sky, which indicated the rising of the dark force would deceive people with the smoke, and turn people against God and the heaven. As Jesus Christ was referred to the Son of Righteousness in the Bible, Malachi 4-2, this fallen star represented the Antichrist spirit of Lucifer that would darken the sun and wage an anti-Christian war in the society. The Plague of Locusts And out of the smoke, locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. Revelation 9, 3-4 The Historical Fulfillment of This Prophecy the plague of locusts indicated the disaster started in the field. It would hurt those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. This indicated that this disaster would hurt those nations which did not participate in the Protestant Reformation prophesied in chapter 7 of the book of Revelation. Since France and Italy had remained Catholic nations without participating in the Protestant Reformation, this disaster would hurt them the most. This was the prophecy about the French Revolution. The Historical Fulfillment of This Prophecy This plague of locusts, the French Revolution, started by the peasants and the Third Estate after a heavy storm ruined the harvest in 1788. In June 1789, the National Assembly was formed and, one month later, the supporters of the revolution stormed the Bastille on July 14, 1789. The French Revolution began. The idea of liberty, equality and fraternity of the French Revolution was good at the beginning. The National Assembly issued some laws to advocate the human right of people and abolish the feudalism in France. However, due to the animosity toward the Catholic Church, the French revolutionists began to confiscate the land of the Church, execute the priests, and to Christianize France, under the spiritual influence of Antichrist, Lucifer the Fallen Star. The Dechristianization of France During the French Revolution Between 1789 and 1794, the National Assembly issued many decrees and laws to nationalize the churches and to Christianize France. Confiscated the properties of the Gallican, Catholic Church. Terminated Christian religious services of the Catholic Church. Destroyed the crosses, statues, signs, and icons of Christianity. Abolished all religious holidays related to Christianity. Dissolved the religious orders and monasteries of the Church expelled about 30,000 priests out of France, and executed hundreds of priests and nuns who did not swear loyalty to the civil constitution. These atrocities were the proofs that the French Revolution was under the spiritual influence of Lucifer. That's the spiritual reason that the dream of liberty, equality and fraternity, eventually turned into the nightmare of the Reign of Terror during the French Revolution. The Reign of Terror in the French Revolution after the dechristianization of France, 
France fell into the darkest period in the French history, the Reign of Terror, 1793-1794. During this period of the Reign of Terror, the Revolution Tribunal was set up, and guillotine was invented and set up for public execution. French King Louis XVI and his Queen Marie Antoinette were sent to guillotine, and some leaders of the Revolution, like the Girondists, Danton, and Robespierre, were also sent to guillotine later. At least 300,000 suspects were arrested, 17,000 were officially executed, and perhaps 10,000 died in prison or without trial. Thousands of priests and nuns were drowned to death, during the drowning of the Nantes from November 1793 to February 1794. The cult of the supreme being was created to replace God. The Reign of Terror in the French Revolution In contrary to Jesus' too great commandment, love God with all your heart with all your soul, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself, the French Revolution, especially the Reign of Terror, displayed the strong hatred toward God, and brutal persecution against its own people. That's the character of Satan and Christ. Although the French Revolution started with a good will of liberty, equality and fraternity, when it turned against God under the spiritual influence of Antichrist, the French Revolution turned into the nightmare of the Reign of Terror. Eventually, even the revolutionists could not stand the reign of terror. They overthrew the ruling of Robespierre, and sent him and his allies to guillotine through the Thermidorian reaction. 3. The Prophecies of Napoleon Bonaparte and the Napoleonic Wars The locusts looked like horses prepared for battle. On their heads they wore something like crowns of gold, and their faces resembled human faces. They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in Greek is Apollyon, that is, destroyer. Revelation 9, 7-11 The historical fulfillment of this prophecy. Who could be the king of the locusts, the angel of the abyss, with the name Apollyon, the destroyer? He was Napoleon Bonaparte, the genius military leader rising to the prominence after the Thermidorian reaction, with a series of military victories in the Revolutionary Wars. In 1804, Napoleon became the new emperor of the French Empire. From 1803 to 1815, Napoleon led the French Grand Army to conquer the Europe, through a series of battles in the Napoleonic Wars. But eventually, he was defeated in his invasion of Russia, and later at Waterloo. The once mighty French Empire finally fell apart. Napoleon Bonaparte, the Angel of the Abyss and the Destroyer there is no doubt that Napoleon was one of the greatest military leader in the world history, but he was also an angel of the abyss under the spiritual influence of the Antichrist. Here were the blasphemous acts Napoleon did. In 1796, Napoleon's troop invaded Rome and took Pope Vias prisoner to France, where he died in 1799. During his coronation on December 2, 1804, Napoleon humiliated Pope Pius VII by taking the crown directly from the Pope and crowned himself. In 1809, under Napoleon's orders, Pope Pius VII was placed under arrest until the coalition invaded France in 1814. These kinds of blasphemous acts proved his spiritual nature as the angel of the abyss under the spiritual influence of the Antichrist. And his Napoleonic wars also destroyed Europe, especially France, with millions of casualties that fulfilled the prophecy of the name Apollyon, the destroyer. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels, who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year, were released to kill a third of mankind. Revelation 9, 13-15 these four angels were the same four angels at the beginning of chapter 7 of the Revelation, who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Revelation 7, 2, At that time, God sent another angel to put the judgment of God on hold, until the angels put the seal of God on the forehead of the servants of God. That led to the Protestant Reformation in 1500s to 1600s. After the Protestant Reformation, those nations who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads, like France and Italy, would face the judgment of God, in the form of the plague of locusts and the war of the four angels. In this prophecy, these four angels represented the spiritual forces behind the four major nations in the coalition against France, Prussia, Austria, Great Britain, and Russia. 
And thus I saw the horses in the vision, those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow, and the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. Revelation 9, 17 The Historical Fulfillment of This Prophecy The vision of the horses with fire, smoke and sulfur coming out of their mouths prophesied the unique feature of the Napoleonic Wars, the combination of cavalry and artillery in the battlefield during this time. Before the Napoleonic era, the wars were mostly fought by soldiers and cavalrys. After the Napoleonic era, the wars, like World War I and II, were mostly fought by soldiers with artillery, tanks and air forces. Only during the time of Napoleonic Wars, the military battles were mostly fought with both cavalry and artillery. That's the horses with fire, smoke and sulfur coming out of their mouths. This pinpointed the timing of this prophecy. The rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands, they did not stop worshipping demons, and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone and wood, idols that cannot see or hear or walk. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality or their thefts. Revelation 9, 20-21 The Historical Fulfillment of This Prophecy after the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars, most people in Europe did not realize their sins of blasphemy during the French Revolution. They kept sinning on idol worshipping and did not repent of their earthly sins, which eventually led to a much bigger anti-God movement, the Communist Revolution, and much more disastrous wars, World War I and World War II, in the 20th century. After the dechristianization of France, France became a godless nation and lost the blessing of God. It continuously declined until it was totally defeated and occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II. 4. The American Revolution versus the French Revolution In the 18th century, there were two revolutions with great impact in the Western world, the American Revolution and the French Revolution. They both had the same secular goal for the liberty of the people, but they had totally different spiritual influence behind their revolutions. Before the American Revolution, there was a great awakening in the North America, which revived the faith in Jesus Christ through mass evangelism across the colonies in North America. That provided the spiritual foundation for the American Revolution, which gave birth to the new nation of God with strong faith in God among the people and the founding fathers of this nation. Before the French Revolution, there was a great enlightenment in Europe promoting philosophical thinking and reasoning. Due to its strong anti clerical bias, it eventually turned into the anti-God dechristianization movement in France during the French Revolution. That's how the spirit of Antichrist deceived the French people during the French Revolution, and turned the dream of liberty, equality and fraternity into the nightmare of the reign of terror. The spiritual difference between the revival of evangelism in America and the dechristianization in France, determined the different outcomes of the American Revolution and the French Revolution. The Comparison Between the American Revolution and the French Revolution The motto of American Revolution was, Life, Liberty, and Pursuit of Happiness. The motto of French Revolution was, Liberty, Equality, Fraternity. The prelude of American Revolution was the Great Awakening with Faith in Christ, 1730s to 1740s. The prelude of French Revolution was the Great Enlightenment with No Faith in God, 1715 to 1789. The spiritual influence of American Revolution was God, Christ. The revival of evangelism prepared that the spiritual foundation for American Revolution. The spiritual influence of French Revolution was Antichrist, Lucifer, the fallen star. The anti-Christian anti-clericalism led to the dechristianization of France. The leaders of American Revolution. The faithful founding fathers of America, like George Washington built the new nation of God upon the faith in God for the blessing and protection of God. The Leaders of French Revolution The anti-clerical atheists, like Robespierre, persecuted Christian priests and abolished Christianity in France. The Apollyon Napoleon became the Emperor of France. The disputes in American Revolution, resolved political disputes through voting ballots. The disputes in French Revolution, resolved political disputes through guillotines. The characters of American Revolution, Jesus' Commandment, Love God and Love People. The characters of French Revolution, Antichrist, 
hate God and kill people, the reign of terror. The results of American Revolution, the United States were blessed to become the new power in the world. It also acquired large territories from France through the Louisiana Purchase. The results of French Revolution, the French Empire fell apart after the Napoleonic Wars, and lost all its colonies in North America to the United States. France had kept declining till it was totally defeated and occupied by Nazi Germany in World War II. The spiritual consequence, the spiritual center of Christianity shifted from Europe to the United States of America, which blessed the United States of America to become the superpower of the world. The Louisiana Purchase After the American Revolution and the French Revolution, God blessed the United States with an unbelievable deal, that passed the large territory of French colonies in North America to the United States of America, through the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, which almost doubled the U.S. territory at the beginning of 19th century. That's the blessing of God for this new nation of God, the United States of America. 5. The Prophecies on the Future of France and America 1. The Prophecy on the Future of France Currently, France is facing fast growth of immigrant population in France. Within 30 to 50 years, the population structure of France will be totally changed. If French people don't cherish their traditional culture and traditional faith, the once splendid French culture will be diminished, and France will be dominated and destroyed by foreign occupants, just like the fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century. The fire of Notre Dame in 2019 was a warning sign to the French people. If French people don't learn the lesson from history and revive their faith in God and in Christ, their fate will be doomed, and they will face the same disastrous consequence as the French Revolution 200 years ago. 2. The Prophecy on the Future of the United States of America As prophesied in the letter to the church in Philadelphia in the book of Revelation, God had planned the creation of this new nation of God almost 2,000 years ago. First, God blessed this nation with a faithful leader like King David, George Washington, as the founding father of this new nation of God. Then, Christ promised to keep this newborn nation from the hour of trial upon the whole world, so that it could grow up without the ravages of wars. Christ also promised to make them, the evil enemies, come and fall down at your feet, and acknowledge that I have loved you, Revelation 3, 9. These were the divine blessings of God that helped the United States defeat the evil empires of Hitler's Third Reich and the Communist Soviet Union, to become the superpower of the world from a small group of colonies, in just a little over 200 years. However, the same evil spirit of Antichrist that de-Christianized and destroyed France 200 years ago, is working on de-Christianizing and destroying America now. American people should learn their lesson from history, and don't be deceived by the evil spirit of Antichrist. In the letter to the church in Philadelphia, Christ promised that hold on to what you have, so that no one will take your crown. Revelation 3, 11, If American people can hold on to the faith in God and in Christ, no one can take away the crown from the United States of America. But if American people fall into the plot of Antichrist, and abandon their faith in God and in Christ, the United States of America will repeat the same mistake of the French Revolution and lost its crown. Then, what happened to France will happen to the United States of America. In the end of the letter to the church in Philadelphia, Christ wrote, I am coming soon. The one who is victorious I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God, and I will also write on them my new name. Revelation 3, 11-12 in this letter, Christ promised that at the end time, when the old Christendom in Europe lost its faith in Christ, the United States of America would be the pillar in the temple of God, to support the Christian faith and values around the world. Christ also prophesied that I am coming soon, as the new Jerusalem would come down out of heaven, and the Christ the Messiah for the second coming would also come to this new nation of God. And I will also write on them my new name. So. Don't be surprised when the Messiah for the second coming comes with a new name other than Jesus, just like Elijah came with a new name as John the Baptist. For the first time in 2000 years, the mystery of the prophecies and visions in the book of Revelation, has been decoded with the testimony of the major historical events in the Christian history, 
in the last 2000 years up to the new millennium. For more detailed decoding on the prophecies in the book of Revelation, please read the book, Revelation Fulfilled. This book is the only book that decodes the prophecies in the book of Revelation, by the Son of Man who was prophesied in the book of Revelation. From now on, it will be the only official and authorized guide book, on the prophecies in the book of Revelation, as only the Son of Man in the book of Revelation, holds the key to unlock the 2000 year mystery of the book of Revelation. This book, Revelation Fulfilled, will also be the new book of Chronicles, for the New Testament of the Holy Bible for the new millennium. Sonoffman.live, forward slash revelation.